There you go. How you like my new hat? <laughs> We're gonna try this uh, Pennsylvania fat wood out that old uh, double gauge sent me. Let's see what she does. Do a little cooking today. Oh yeah. We'll see how she does. We'll find out. It looks good. Let's give that a try. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, boy. That's going to give you a run for your money when it comes to the fatwood wars. Y'all stick around. Let's get to cooking. Oh, got a 40. Got the fire lit. I don't know how much I'll get this done. We got a bad storm rolling in on us. Damn right. I tell you what, it's gonna be tough getting this cooking video off. I'm gonna show y'all something right here. It's hold tight. Y'all see that? Yep. She's rolling down on top of me right now. It's hot. We got storms coming. I was gonna go fishing this evening with my boy. Blue skies one way, dark clouds the other. I hope they pass. As y'all can see, I'm getting ready to do a little cooking. Hey y'all, we're going to be cooking a little pork roast. Some ribs today. I'm going to use sweet peach barbecue rub by the award winning Victory Lane Barbecue. Some uh, peanut oil, a little bit of porter, some vegetables right out of the garden. Y'all hold tight. Fire's going. Alright y'all, I got the Dutch oven preheating. And of course the rooster wants to help me, but it's preheating. I'm gonna put a little bit of this peanut oil in here. There we go. There we go. Let that heat up a little bit. Hey y'all put a little of this Victory Lane barbecue. <laughs> Award winning sweet peach barbecue rub. On the ribs and the pork. It's gonna be my barbecue. This is gonna be uh it's gonna be the best ribs you ever put in your mouth. Y'all right, hold that. Right in there. I'm gonna sear it on either side. Make sure she's good and toasty before we go any further. All right, what I want to do is, I already got this thing preheated right here. Take this little, my little hanger here. Since I ain't got my kickstand right now, I set it right here. All right, put me a little bit of peanut oil in here. I really like peanut oil, really good stuff. Oh yeah, you can tell it's hot, she's ready. Go ahead and put these vegetables in. This is again tomatoes, zucchini, bell peppers, squash, and uh, Vidalia onions. I'm gonna let them sit in here a little bit and cook. Then I'm gonna put the 
Then I'm going to put the ribs in here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. It'll be like a trivet. It'll keep it off the bottom, but it'll keep the moisture in there. I'm going to let these cook a little bit. I may actually put them over the fire, let them get real hot, cook, and then we're going to uh, put the ribs in here and then let them slow simmer for a while. Good while. Y'all hold tight. Hey, y'all. While these things are cooking, I mean, they're cooking, they're hot. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all I really appreciate y'all coming by the Captain's Corner to see me too. And don't worry, I got some gloves for safety. I actually got three pair. Um, this is a lot of fun for me. I really enjoy getting out and doing Dutch oven cooking, and I sure hope y'all come back and see some more. And uh, if the key roosters keep on, they're going to be in these pots. Yeah, keep it on. But anyways, uh, <laughs> y'all hang tight. Well, it's going to take a little while for these to get done. Um, I'll just periodically just keep putting more fire, getting the coals out, and putting them underneath, and putting them on top. This little table. I built this little table I didn't buy. I know they're about $100. And Camp Chef and Camp May, they make these. They're real nice. But I built this one in my spare time. Just flat metal, square. You know, I didn't make a video of it. And uh, a little flat metal on the back side and aluminum legs. Works perfect. Works perfect so I don't have to bend over so much. I can put my charcoals up here or just wood. And like I'm doing right now, cook away. So in this one, this is my Cabela's 10 inch Dutch oven. I've got it going with uh, the pork roast. It's going to make some barbecue out of that, all right? This one right here is going to be my pork ribs. And uh, they're going to have vegetables underneath that are going to be slow marinating in that oil, in that peanut oil. Ooh, it's going to be so good. And I'll put the ribs in here in just a few minutes. We'll give this time to cook. And then we'll let it sit. May even pour a little bit of beer on them. That means another beer. Oh no. Y'all ain't tired. I best go cry somewhere. <laughs> well, guys and gals, it's time. It's time to get the priority straight. It's not no bush in a bottle, but still amber fluid inside. This one's for you, Bill Gowdy. I love Dutch oven cooking. It's awesome. Y'all don't know Bill Gowdy. You definitely need to check him out. Oh, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Amber fluid going down. This is the first time I've got one of these 16 ounce brand new bottles. The uh, brand new 16 ounce cans. This is the new ones. Y'all up north been getting them for a while. We just now got them down here about, a, I guess, about a month ago. That went down so fast, I didn't even get to taste it. <laughs> this YouTube is awesome. It's wonderful. It wouldn't be nothing if y'all wasn't coming down here and seeing my show. Y'all coming by here watching my videos. Checking out what I'm doing. It's pretty awesome. So I tip the hat to y'all. And I say thank you so much for coming by and seeing me over here. Kevin's going to see me too. Y'all have a great evening. I got some more cooking to do. But right now, it's on. As y'all can see, it's real nice and soft. We'll cook the way we want. Now we need to add the ribs. And one final ingredient. That's right. Killigan's red, baby. Here we go. Somebody play taps. Man, don't that look good. Let's put the cap on here and leave it go for another about two or three hours.
as y'all see i had to put it back in the fire it got a little cold and the vegetables wasn't cooking like i wanted them to but i'm fixing to move it back over here on the table located over ramhurst or near chanceworth moving southeast at 10 miles per hour hazard 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail source radar indicated impact hail damage to vehicles is who have been busting tail trying to get everything put up y'all see the sky right there they don't look too bad do they no i'm gonna try to finish this up we got trouble we got trouble brewing right there <laughs> that way i mean it's it's you can see the sun then you look off to the distance we got and it's rumbling I mean, she's a rumbling. Oh Lord, look at that. It's looking pretty bad back that way. And I think it's coming right here. So I got everything cooking. I'm gonna try to do the best I can and get it done. Let y'all see the end result. Like I say, y'all hold tight. Cheers. Hello, yeah. Welcome back to Cam's Corner 72. Looks like we beat the rain. Got the ribs out. Oh yeah, baby. Check it out. Look at them vegetables. Oh yeah, they're good and soft. Just look at there. It's like nothing, like butter. Can you? And these ribs? Holy moly. Let me see. Let's see if I can pull a pull a bone out. Look at there. Bone just come right out. I'm telling you. Good. It's awesome. Look at that. It's awesome, y'all. Y'all gotta check this out. I love doing this Dutch oven cooking. Woo! Spicy barbecue sauce, one winning. Victory Lane barbecue. Y'all have heard about this before. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. This here's gonna be in the barbecue. This has been cooking about two hours and it's completely done. All I gotta do is shred it up, put the barbecue sauce on it, and she's ready to go. That's Dutch oven ribs with vegetables and Dutch oven barbecue and the other uh, Dutch oven. So um, I really appreciate y'all coming by Cowan's Corner 72. Checking this out today. That's how you beat the rain, make the barbecue. Y'all come back and see me. Let me know how you think about it. Comment down below, give me a like, thumbs up. We'll see y'all on the flip-flop.